hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video i am going to be discussing about how we can interpret a trained model for its particular predictions that means how we will understand what kind of models features uses and what kinds of feature it is being used for uh, for particular predictions so in this particular video i am going to be discussing all of the things with respect to your training a deep learning model so deep learning model is considered to be a black box model where we uh, never get to understand like what kind of features it must be using like what kind of pixels it must be using uh, in case of image classifications for particular uh, classifying category so for that all kind of information like which kind of pixels uh, contribute to prediction of particular class we are going to be discussing about that and we'll see how that particular model uses those kind of pixels which are important for it to classify a particular a category so this is what we're going to be doing and we'll using our shapley tool or it's called as shap so we're going to be using that uh, so that's an awesome framework uh, which was developed by shapley and you can just visit the uh, repo repository over here and you can walk through there so you can see uh, they generally use a black box model and you give the features inside it and output will be like something like this so the explanation of this particular model like what kind of feature are contributing more for this particular output are been explained in some some this kind of trends so if it is red that means it is contributing to the increment of the output result and if it is uh, in blue negative that means it is not contributing to that particular output so so if you can see this particular uh, example the age is contributing more and uh, and this sex is co contributing very less and bp is contributing little more and bmi is also contributing little more so this is how the interpretability or explanation of the model is done but when you consider a deep learning model so this all interpretability in terms of image or in terms of pixels would become very less so these all things can be analyzed when you have structured data also and when you have deep learning model also that can also be analyzed so it becomes very very useful tool to discuss and we, we will discuss about how this implementation is done in terms of deep learning model so this is all you can see it can also be implemented in exposed uh, tree based models and it can also be used with uh, uh, deep learning models natural language processing models text classification models so every kind of models it can be used and you can interpret like what kind of features it is using to predict a particular class so that's what that is what our agenda would be and we will be discussing or we will training a model that will be a image classification model over here and we will discuss like what are the features it has been taken to con to predict a particular class so uh, in this tutorial we're going to be using a, a shap library so let us install it So once the installation of Shap library is done, uh, we're going to be importing our few uh, uh, libraries like NumPy, TensorFlow, TensorFlow, and Keras, Matplotlib uh, for our use cases. So right now I'm going to be using a simple dataset which is MNIST dataset for our training of custom model. So for that I'm going to be using a, a Keras, and from there I will be downloading a MNIST dataset and will convert it into uh, float32 format and will rescale it to zero and one so this is what it's going to be doing it over here so let's run this particular cell and once this uh, particular uh, data has been downloaded and is split into train test and then we can uh, construct a particular architecture of a model so these are the general architecture of a model which you can refer to it so this will help it out to uh, like understand what kind of the layers we have used it's not very uh, complex i think it's very simple to understand so it's just a simple model and after that uh, we have compiled the model and we have uh, fitted the model on the train and test it uh, on train data and validating on the test data we are training it for five box so it, it won't take much time to train for it so let us run this Okay, so the training has been finished. Uh, we are trained this particular uh, custom model for particular pipe box. Now we'll uh, see the exp uh, like how we can understand like what the features it has been used to create a particular class. 
so now our model train model is been uh, here it has been trained now we'll take few examples from the text data uh, that we have used and we'll check it out uh, for particular evaluation like what it has taken so we cannot take it for all examples because it will be very compute extensive so we are referring it to uh, particular uh, uh, samples so we'll pick some samples from this particular test data for this particular classes and we'll analyze each and every particular classes regarding that uh, like what are the uh, important features it has been taken for particular prediction of these classes so let us run this cell so it will do all of it so it will just take the sample of it and you can see that these are the sample of uh, uh, sample of uh, the categories or uh, examples which we are taking for uh, classification from training and these are data we will use it for uh, uh, for for a particular explanation of the model uh, so we are not doing it for whole examples because it will it could take much more time uh, so I have taken only a few examples from it. So it would be almost uh, I think 10, 10 samples of it. So yeah, so we will taking that and once this is done uh, We'll use a deep explainer classes uh, Deep explainer classes from from shaft library for interpreting the uh, particular uh, uh, Particular examples and particular features what are important. So this is the class which we're going to be using for from shaft library for deep learning models so there are varieties of uh, 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 explainers are available over there in sh uh, shape uh, uh, repository so you can go here and you can check it out like for uh, there are kernel explainers and there are uh, uh, there are gradient explainers so there are varieties of explainers are available so you can just go and walk through it like what each and every type of explainers are helpful for your particular scenario so for here we are using deep explainer for explaining our deep uh, deep uh, classification models uh, so we are using that so from our, our X train, and we are selecting uh, around 5,000 uh, random samples, and we are giving this uh, uh, shab dot deep explainer uh, function, and inside that function we are going to be passing the model and this background. Background is nothing but the random sample which we are taking from the X train. So this is this will create a particular understanding like uh, what a model has uh, in it and what is the background on which it has been trained. So this is what the parameters generally deep explainer function takes in and when we ran this so this is what it will be generated and once this is done then we'll take a few examples from test data as well so right now i'm going to be taking a few examples from test data set and we'll convert into uh, tensors uh, which will be in the form of array and for that particular uh, tensors we're going to be printing like how many numbers of uh, examples we are taking so for this particular uh, analysis, we are taking only 10 samples, uh, which would be of this uh, shape. Uh, so I have taken uh, this 10 samples from test data and earlier this were from uh, train data. So from that train data, we have taken this uh, background samples, which we have 5000. So model has learned and understood. And then we have got test data. And from that test data, we have taken only 10 samples to uh, check the validation and accuracy on the train model. And then we will analyze it using SHAP. So this is what it is doing. We have taken only 10 samples from S data. And once that is done, we'll use the model dot predict. We'll use this particular 10 samples and we'll ask it for predictions from the model. So this is what it will be doing it. So yes, so this is what the predictions are looking like. So if you see, uh, if you go through this particular code, you will find it out like we have sorted it out. You can see we are sorting this dictionary. So what it will do is it will just sort it to the particular uh, indices. So uh, these indices are uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has sorted in that way. So the prediction also coming in that uh, similar particular uh, in similar particular sorted way. So that means our predictions and uh, uh, test are actually uh, actually are correct. So the model is predicting correct results. Now since uh, we want to understand the uh, the the particular uh, examples and what features are being uh, being used while predicting the uh, classes so we'll use e, e dot shape underscore values function so what it will do is it will just uh, create a create an explainer explainer for the particular x text uh, data for a particular model so let us run this and it will print out the shape values for a particular uh, test data with respect to the model so this is what it will do so if you walk through this all this explanation you will also get an understanding like of what I am trying to explain. If this seems to be very complicated for you, you can just walk through this particular uh, um, explanation what I have put it. 
so you can just walk through it and understand everything in a very simple way so once this is this uh, run has been completed we will walk through like what, what is the shape values which has printed so shape values are nothing but the explanation features so what are the features or what are the uh, pixel values uh, are which are contributing more and less are being stored over here so this is what a shape value means so there are different ways of calculating a shape values so if you want to go in, de in depth like what actually makes a shape value so you have to go and uh, look into this report and you will be able to understand what is this actual shape value means so once this uh, code has been ran, so we'll plot uh, the images and we'll plot the shape values as well. So you can run this particular cell and you can get to see what are the shape values it has been plotted. So you can see model has predicted uh, the classes for different particular test samples. So for this particular uh, t-shirt, uh, model has predicted actually it is a t-shirt. And you can see these are red pixels and blue pixels as well. So red pixels means it has uh, it, these pixels are actually contributing for this particular uh, uh, classification and blue pixels are means that these particular pixels are not contributed for this particular prediction so this is what the interpretation you can get from this particular uh, Shapley uh, even you can see if you go a little bit over here you can see it is also uh, pointing this particular picture is also pointing towards this particular class that is shirt which is obvious because uh, the t-shirt and the shirt all, almost share the same pixels uh, but you can see uh, uh, like, like uh, blue color pixels are not contributing to this particular classes. So more of the pixels are contributing from this t-shirt uh, class. So that's why uh, it has printed uh, it for, for t-shirt. So you can see it has al also taken some from pullover. But those pixels are not contributing. You can see the light blue uh, pixels which are not contributing. But you can also see there are few pixels which are contributing to uh, the prediction of this particular class. So this is how the interpret interpretation you can get from this particular model like uh, what are the categories it must be uh, checking it out for the partic particular predictions so it for this particular prediction that this particular t-shirt is actually t-shirt so a lot of factors are coming from this particular t-shirt class so a lot of pixels pixels which are contributing from this particular pixel class are from t-shirt and there are less and few pixels which are contributing for the t-shirt and pullovers so the first prediction which has must it has, it has must have gone is with 90% confidence or 95% confidence is that it is t-shirt and rest it it might have put it this particular pullover in t-shirt at the uh, with uh, 70 or 60% classification uh, a particular confidence confidence and it has put it backward so uh, so more probability of this is so that's why it has taken this as t-shirt class and you can see it's it's quite visible also like it is taking more of the contribution from this particular t-shirt class so now you can see uh, this kind of uh, understanding and uh, like which features are contributing for which particular class. So if you like, uh, we have passed this particular code. And if you see, uh, there are a lot of pixels contributed from this particular code class only. So a lot of pixels are, you can see are the red. So that are contributing more for this particular prediction of this particular code class. There are a few red, uh, green, uh, blue samples also, which are not contributing. And even you can see pullover is also kind of uh, uh, kind of somewhat kind of uh, uh, coat and because it, it has sleeve long sleeves uh, coat has long sleeve pullover also has long sleeves but it doesn't have that uh, particular uh, uh, hoodie over it so it has not taken that uh, it has taken that blue pixels which is not contributing over here and you can see a few of the red samples uh, red pixels which are contributing from pullover also but that are, that are not enough to classify it as a pullover. So that's why it went over the code and uh, more of the pixels are uh, being contributing towards particular prediction of a code. You, when you can see this is shirt. So you can see a uh, code is almost similar to pullover, shirt and uh, actually it's a code. So a lot of pixels should be matching from the code class only. So it has done that. And it can, it can also uh, look at that shirt and uh, pullover, but it didn't went for that because there were very less red pixels contributing to particular uh, that class. So this is how the interpretation of the particular model is. And this is how an image classification model uh, is uh, uh, doing internally. And this is how it is being uh, classifying a particular a new image to a particular class. So I think uh, this is all uh, shape value and shape class does. And this is all about this particular video. Hope you enjoyed this particular model interpretation and explainable uh, model. And uh, we'll, we'll move further into this particular category of uh, uh, videos. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this particular video. 
and if you like this kind of content please do subscribe to the channel and thank you